take that little bit of courage you have and show up and do the thing. And so then you show up on social media, right? And then maybe your fear is, oh my gosh, what if people don't like me? But then if you ask yourself the exact opposite question, what if people end up loving me? Hello, mommy millionaires. I am so excited for this solo episode. Okay, so if you're watching this right now or you're listening in, I want you just to remember how powerful you are. The thing that you own that is the most powerful thing, it can cost you a lot or it can make you a lot. It's your perspective. Okay, and your perspective matters most in difficult situations. And whatever you're going through right now, I'm glad you're listening in. I'm glad you're watching this episode right now. And I want to share with you what I do to constantly, you know, keep my power in my hands and keep a positive perspective, a a positive outlook on life. Okay. So here's the thing. I was going through this like situation with, I, I had bought a program through an agency. It's not like a, it's not a program. It was like, you know, an agency was doing work for me as contractors and, you know, they didn't do their job. Okay. And I go, oh my gosh, I'm so upset. How could they do this to me? How could somebody just lie to your face and, you know, like do that? I just don't get it. Right. Because I'm a person of integrity. So when somebody does something wrong and like that's not in a good character and doesn't have good morals, I'm going, oh my gosh, like how could you do that to me? And I was taking it personal. And I called up my really good friend, Akimi, and I told her the situation. She goes, no, don't give them your power. Just move on. You got to let it go. Drop that. Move on. Don't worry about the whys and the what ifs and the how could they's because all you're doing is giving the situation more energy. When at any given time, you could just change your perspective on it, let that go in the past, and focus on what you can do to get the desired outcome that you want in this life and in your business. And you might be going through something similar right now where you're like, uh, kind of in victim mode. How could this happen to me? Even if somebody did something quote unquote wrong, you know, how do you continue to move on with your life and continue to get what you want and not give them any energy? Well, it's all about the power of the focus of your thoughts. What you think about, you bring about. And when you focus on how people do things wrong to you, how it never seems to go your way, all you're doing is going to get more and more and more of that. But when you focus on, okay, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. Things are eventually going to go my way. Uh, I'm always in the right place at the right time because my steps are ordered of the Lord. Then guess what? You're going to start seeing some things shift. Some things that are unexplainable start to change in your life. Doors are going to start to open because that's what you're available for. That's what you're giving power to. Isn't that so crazy that it's just the switch and you are the only person that can control that? Your friends can't do that for you. Your husband can't do that for you. Only you can decide in the moment you're in right now. Okay, this is what I want. This is who I'm committed to being no matter what, no matter what anybody in the outside world does. This is who I'm committed to being. And so, you know, I did that in that certain situation, you know, took my power back, I guess you could say. I was like, here's what I want to do. You know, I'm building out an incredible thing inside of Mommy Millionaire. And yes, I can't do it alone. I realize that. But I know that there are good people out there that can help me. And so I started to write down all the characteristics of, you know, people I want on the Mommy Millionaire team. You know, they're kind, they're hardworking, they're people of excellence, they're people of integrity. And, you know, they love to be a part of the Mommy Millionaire culture because we're positive, we're grateful, we're impacting lives on a daily basis, right? And they're committed to that type of lifestyle, to just having that growth mindset. And so I wrote down the characteristics of everybody I want on the Mommy Millionaire team. And I started to pray over that and starting to believe for like, okay, there are good people out there. There are good people out there that are going to help, you know, Mommy Millionaire achieve all the dreams because Mommy Millionaire is like so much 
bigger than me at this point. It's it's about all the impact we're having. We're helping so many people. Last month, we gave out five figures in commissions. I was so excited about that, right? So I started to pray over this list and God dropped the name into my mind of, you know, the next person I should bring onto the team as an employee. And she's been a part of the Mommy Millionaire community for quite some time. And I was so excited because I had almost forgot about it because I was focused on other things, right? And my focus changed, right? I'm praying over the characteristics list. And then boom, I remembered Casey. And I reached out to her immediately because you got to take action when God nudges you and gives you a, a little reminder, right? Boom, boom. You've got to take immediate action. Because that obedience comes with blessings. Same disobedience comes with curses. So many of you are out there living in disobedience, right? You're like, oh, I had that idea. I had that thought, but I'm going to wait to do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow never comes. And you got to live with, in the words of Luke Combs, the tomorrow you. <laughs> Start taking action now, right? So I reached out to Casey and literally within two weeks, she joined the Mommy Millionaire team. And it's been such a blessing that I want to point out started, right, from something that I was like unhappy with, right? I was in a bad spot and I felt upset. And I took my power back. I changed my perspective. I wrote down what it is that I want, prayed over it. And if this was meant to be, I knew that God was going to bring the right person into our lives to help us achieve this goal. And that is what happened. Will it always work out that perfectly? No. But remember that like if you change your thoughts, the right thing will pop into your lap. Maybe it's not what you think is the right thing in this very moment, but it's probably going to be something better. I love that saying this or something better because it usually ends up being something better. It's like that quote that says like when you when you make plans, God laughs. And I couldn't think that that's like more true in this very moment because my life, you know, is so much better than what it used to be. Okay, so let's switch gears here. I want to talk about uh, last night I was out at dinner with my family and uh, we went to Disneyland to celebrate my niece's seventh birthday and it was such a fun day. And we're at this like really yummy Mexican restaurant that I love going to called Red O. And if you love chips and salsa, you know, Hit me up in the chat section, chips and salsa, because you're my girl. <laughs> okay, so we're eating chips and salsa, and my sister told me about, like, a person that, you know, I used to be really close to, and she told me some things that, like, you know, she had seen and heard, and um, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, that makes me sad. You know, that, that makes me sad, because this was a person that she absolutely changed my life. Like I would not be where I am today had she not believed in me 11 years ago. Like that's how impactful this person was in my life for for a short period of time. And then we kind of went our separate ways. And I heard this information. And I go, oh my gosh, like that's crazy. That's crazy that two people headed on the same trajectory. You know, uh, I would say I had less talent and less skill, but I had a, I had massive belief and a really good work ethic. Okay. And I just, I, I had belief in myself and I believe I had like the favor of God over my life. You know, we're going in the same path and, and we end up in two completely opposite places. And I look at my life now and I'm like, oh my gosh, how did this happen? How did this happen? And when I look, it's because of the obedience. Every time that I got an idea, an inkling, I went with it. I didn't overthink it. I didn't think about what people were going to think about me. Uh, I just took messy, immediate action. And that is what led me here today was a lot of messy action. None of it looked perfect. And I would say the things that I did perfectly worked out. They performed the least for me. Messy action has always worked over here. And I'm going to continue to take messy action for the rest of my life because I want to be obedient. And I look over here. It's like she had a lot of like good things going for her. But I think, you know, what starts to happen is if you let the you know wrong thoughts come into your mind, you start to overthink what people are going to say. 
you know, I'm not sure what happened. I'm just like making up things here because I have no idea how she ended up the way that she ended up, right? But all I can say is that it makes me sad to see so many people have like amazing skill. They have amazing talents. They have these beautiful gifts that God has given them. And you continue to not show up and give them to the world. You continue to doubt yourself. You continue to live in fear. And when you live in fear, fear just continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger because you find more and more things to be scared about. Maybe you start off with, oh my gosh, you know, I'm scared of getting on video to be on social media. Oh, I'm scared to, you know, share about, you know, what I'm really going through in my business. I'm I'm scared, you know, and it starts with something small like that. And I hear so many women say this, right? So then they don't take action. They don't build the business. They don't spread awareness of how they help people. And then it goes into, oh, I'm scared of money. Uh, I'm, I, you know what? I'm scared of being rich, you know, because I've heard, you know, some people make money and it ruins their lives, right? And then they start to fear money. So then they repel money. And then they go, oh, you know what? I'm scared of, of uh, being hurt by people. So I'm just going to really close myself off to the world, you know, not have a lot of friends. I'm going to also put a wall up to my husband. I'm going to put a wall up to people in my family because I'm scared of getting hurt. So I just don't want to let anybody in. And you're probably listening or watching this right now thinking, okay, yeah, I know people like that. Maybe you're that person right now that you've just let one fear after the other creep in. And I'm here to tell you, it's time to wake up. It's time to focus on your faith. Instead of like, oh, I'm scared of what's going to happen on social media. I'm scared to talk about how I help people. I'm scared to share that testimonial. Say, okay, if I was entertaining my faith right now, how would I go about this, right? What would I tell myself? Fear stands for face everything and rise. So you can look at that and say, okay, I'm scared of getting on social media because like it really matters to me. Like I really want to help people. And so I don't want to mess this thing up. And what you, what faith will say is God prospers my mistakes, period. So I'm going to get up right now. I'm going to do the best I can with the knowledge I have right now, with the confidence I have right now, with the awareness I have right now, with the, you know, the passion I have right now, even if it's little, even if it's like a little tiny spark, do it. You get on social media, right? And you're like, oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. Somebody DMs you and says, hey, like you sharing that, it really helped me right now. It really helped me. Last week I shared how I'm like, I don't even know what to make a video about today because I'm in a mood. I'm in a funk today and I don't even want to be on video. But I know somebody needs to hear this. I'm going to share, you what I'm, share with you what I'm going to do to get out of this funk. And I just shared with them my gratitude practice. I got so many DMs. Oh my gosh, I'm going through that same thing right now. I needed to hear this. Because your like thing that you're going through right now is actually the thing that's going to change somebody's life on the other side of the screen. So when you have that little step of faith, it actually is a big step of faith and you will be rewarded for it. So, you know, you got to take that little bit of courage you have and show up and do the thing. And so then you show up on social media, right? And then maybe your fear is, oh my gosh, what if people don't like me? But then if you ask yourself the exact opposite question, what if people end up loving me? What if people end up loving me? And you entertain that thought and you realize, okay, that would be kind of cool. I think I could help a lot of people. I am a lovable person. And you start to talk yourself into all the reasons why people will love you. When most of you are doing the opposite, right? You're talking yourself into all the reasons why people won't like you. And what I've come to see with working, a thousand, working with thousands and thousands of women is the things that you think make you unlovable are actually the things that make you so lovable. Those are the things that people go, oh my gosh, like, I see you. I feel you. Ah, I want to know more of you. I want you to talk more to me. So keep taking those big actions, right? Because, right, the little tiny step is actually a big action. Because every step of obedience leads you towards your calling. 
And Deuteronomy 28 talks about the blessings for obedience. It says, um, I will be blessed coming in. I will be blessed going out. I will be blessed in my storehouse. My presses will burst forth with new wine. Okay, that's what I'm talking about for mommy millionaires. Start taking that action and start believing that blessings are coming and blessings come in so many different ways. Maybe it's new friendships. Maybe it's, um, you know, a new opportunity for your career. Maybe it's a blessing inside of your, you know, motherhood. Be open to it all and be grateful for it all. Okay. Start taking those little action steps because those lead to the big things. Those lead to the life that you truly want. I cannot make this stuff up. I can't look at my life for the last 12 years and be like, oh yeah, it was all like, I, I took step one, step two, step three. Those were my 10 steps to success because it was not like that. It was like very zigzaggy and kind of all over the place. I look back now and I do see a theme and I'm actually launching, you know, 10 steps to 10 million at my next Mommy Millionaire Mastermind event. You could still check it out at mommymillionaire.co if you want to see what it's all about, because there is a theme like God definitely downloaded that that theme into my life. And one of them is the messy action. Just continue to keep going and change your perspective every single day. Change your perspective. Own your perspective. The one that's going to make you rich, the one that's going to make you the happiest, the one that's going to let you be at the end of your life and, and have no regrets. That's the type of action you've got to be taking every single day. This is the last thing I want to say today is you got to stop playing small. You got to stop playing small. The only reason you do this is because you're absolutely terrified. You're absolutely terrified of that big life because you don't know what it's going to look like. You're not going to have it all planned out. It's not in a book. You know, it's like that book, What to Expect When You're Expecting. You read that and then you have the baby and you throw that thing in the trash because you're like, yeah, uh, this didn't help me at all. <laughs> That's what it's like with success. That's what it's like with your destiny. If you knew everything ahead of time, it it wouldn't work like that. Like it, it wouldn't even it wouldn't even feel as good as it would feel because it's fun being in the process of becoming who you are meant to be. So you got to start playing big. My stepdad always told me growing up, go big or go home. Go big or go home. If you're gonna do it, do something right. And I live by that motto. And have I had a lot of losses? Yeah, I have. And some of those are financial losses. But I don't have any regrets. You know, I don't have any regrets about it because I know that like I gave it all I got in that moment. And sometimes I, I didn't know enough, right? Or I, uh, I trusted the wrong people or whatever it was. But I know that I was playing big because I want my big life. I want those big results. And you might have an idea in your mind right now that could completely change your business. And you're going, oh, I'm so scared of having to hire people. I'm so scared of having to invest in myself. Oh, I'm so scared. Listen, what would the big version of yourself do? What would the one that has the big life say to you? How would they guide you in this moment? I always check in with big Kayla. And she's always like, calm down, Kayla. It's not that serious. Like with that situation with that agency, it was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> moving on. Like, who cares? They suck. Moving on. Like, don't give it any more of your power. With some stuff in my marriage, you know, she's like, okay, uh, look in the mirror, Kayla. Okay, knock that stuff off. Okay, you're not, um, you're not better than anybody else. Get off of your, uh, get off your pedestal. You put yourself on in your marriage, right? And I check in with that person. And she always reminds me, like, it's going to be better than you can even imagine right now. Do the hard thing. Hire the person. Invest in your team. Invest in yourself. You will only grow your business to the extent that you can grow your mind. What have you learned today? Right? That's playing a big life is constantly learning, constantly willing to challenge what you think you know constantly challenging what has worked in the past to see, hey, maybe something is going to be able to work better, faster, get me the results I want, you know, in five days instead of 30 days. And 
you know, with like where I'm going in Mommy Millionaire right now, if I sit and think about all of the things that have to happen in order for us to impact millions of people, in order for those people to become millionaires, I think if I think about all the things really that I'm going to have to go through, the judgment, right, from people out there that, you know, hate what I have to say about money, the judgment from my family, the, um, you know, the fear about saying something wrong or doing something wrong, right? The messy action hurting somebody. If I, if I sat there and thought about it, I would never get anything done. So what I do instead in order to play big is I think about, okay, if all of this goes right, there will be millions of women making millions of dollars being able to spend more time with their kids, travel all over the world, start the nonprofit, you know, cure cure homelessness. Like we will solve the problems of the world because we are the nurturers of the world. We are the creators. So that's what I focus on. And I go, you know what? The rest, right? There will be mistakes. I will mess up because I'm not a perfect person. People will be hurt by me. That is just the fact of the matter because I'm, I can't make everybody happy. But if this is going to happen, millions of people are going to be happier, wealthier, living more free. Okay, it's worth it. It's worth it. And when you start living in your end result and you start entertaining that, having more faith about your true destiny, not your fears and your doubts, you will be pulled every single day to take the little action to stop playing small, to start playing big. So that's what I want you to do right now. That's your challenge after listening to this episode right now, you know, is what is the next best step I can take right now? What is the messy action I need to take in order to start getting closer to that end result? I promise you, you're going to feel so good afterwards. So if you loved this little mommy millionaire rant I just went on, Make sure to subscribe and, you know, tell us what you loved about this show. Tell us how it's changing your life. And we'll see you next time on Mommy Millionaire.